Good day everyone over there. You are welcome to today's online class with Mr. Michael. I'm your old time advantage teacher. Today we are looking at um, something very interesting. Yeah, we we have always wondered why sometimes certain things goes up, some goes down, some move along up, some move down together. But sometimes when others are stagnant, some will still move either up or down. So today we are looking at proportion. 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 You know, proportion is its own, its own. It is an equation by which two ratios are kept with each other. In, in the sense that sometimes when one part of it goes up, the other drops. If sometimes they move along up together and down together. But sometimes as the left hand is going up, the right hand will be dropping. But sometimes the two hands go up together. That is, but today the, pro the proportion we are working on today is direct proportion. We are looking at direct proportion today. That is why you know that what affects you, it only affects me. What affects the eye, it only affects the nose. That's why most times you see people crying. You ask them what happens, they will, they will want to say something, but they won't just say anything. As tears are coming out, you will see them coming out of their nose together. Just like when you wish someone well and the person is achieving, you will be very happy. So both of you are moving along together. So the eyes and the nose are equally moving along together. Or maybe you are eating a peppery food, food that is so peppery. As it's hurting you in your mouth, sometimes you will see tears coming out of your mouth or you'll, you'll, there will be no fem coming out of, the, out of your nose. So that means those parts of your body, they are working together. That's what we call them body system. No one works without the other. And I know that even in your own real life, you can do it now. You have two sides of your mouth. There is no possible means of making them one side eating while the other stands still. It is not possible. In this case, that we will talk about direct proportion. A direct proportion, just like in a real life, once the price of things in the market increases, once the price increases, most times those things will not much be available because there is no money for patronage. At the same time, once the price increases, even though they are available, if the price increases, the demand must also, might also increase. Why? Because once they say, hey, foil is no longer 280, foil is now 500. You see people, everybody will jack, gather them, jack buckets, rubbers, containers, and rush it to the court to the police station to go and buy foil. So the higher the price, the higher the demand. Why? Is because I want to get it and to keep it in my house now that I have the money. Else, if the money is not with me, I won't be able to get it again. But in the other way around, if the price of this shirt goes up or increases, the demand for that shirt, if I normally come to the market to buy, I buy two. But now I'll buy only one. That is just proportion for you. It is, they are proportional to each other. Now, for example, example number one, I have, I buy, or let me say, last week I went to the market and bought four exercise books. Sorry. At the rate of 20 naira. If I have more money and I go to the market today, 
and I want to buy these same exercise books. If I buy eight, the money will have to increase. Now, how much is this increment? The software are going to check now. We know that sometimes they give us discounts. As a customer, I will give you a discount so that you'll come tomorrow. Yes, fine, it's true. But if the person decides to, because we all know that for what they sell, they make gain out of it. The person will say, okay, since I'm not going to run at a loss, let me just give him a small part of the gain. So it will be to glad it is hard for him to come back. But it does not change the fact that you bought them at the normal price. So if four inside books cost 20 naira, if I go to the market to buy four, to buy eight, that means it's times two now. That means I'll buy them at 40 naira. So now the quantity that I buy increase. As it increases, the amount also increases. So whatever affects the eye also affects the load. Now let's do it this way on our table. We have here quantity. We have here price. Now here also is supposed to be quantity. Now, okay, let's call this let's call this number of items. If I buy three t-shirts at the rate of three thirty naira, this thirty naira is the normal price. This three t-shirt means 30 times 3. Or you can say the price is 30 naira. What is the price? Now, the total that means in this case you will have 30 times 3 which is 90 naira. But if I buy only 2 the price remains 30 naira. I will then say 30 multiplied by 2. It now gives 60 naira. If I buy 5 at the same price, 30 naira, here becomes 30 naira times 5 shares. This gives us 150 naira. So, proportion, direct proportion is definitely telling us. If we are conversant with our multiplication tables, direct proportion is not a problem. Just like away from here, if a rod, the weight of a rod, a rod that is 8 meters long, weighs 10 kg. One rod. Just only, only one rod that is 8 meters long weighs 10 kg if two of these rods are kept what do you expect? the weight will increase twice times two that means 8 meters long the weight is so you say two rods you now say this 10 since you have multiplied, the number has been multiplied by 2. Also, the weight will equally be multiplied by 2. So the weight will now become 20 kilograms. That is what it is. That's the you. With what the table we have on the board, this shows both the increase and the decrease in proportion. Here was 3. It decreased to 2. The price dropped. It later increased again to 5. The price also increased. That is proportional. So, I believe that with what we have done so far, it is not just 
a stranger for us. It's what we do then. It's just like a daily activity. So if I give you half bread because maybe they are paying me 20 naira today as, as your dad, I am receiving 20 naira and I buy you half bread because they are paying me 10, 10 naira as my salary. Each time I come to the house, I buy you half loaf of bread. But if my money increases to 20 naira, that means I will multiply the bread, I will buy another half again. That means half of the first 10 naira plus half of the second 10 naira. It will cost come one loaf of bread. If you don't do addition, because addition is repeated, uh, multiplication is repeated addition, you can say that means half bread, half loaf of bread times two, because I'll be buying them two too. So we say this will be equal to. You divide this one by one to balance the two sides as fraction. In normally in multiplication of fraction, we multiply them directly. So we say one times two all over one times two. This will give us one times two is two. One times two is two. Two divided by two is one. Still the same thing. So we all know that in direct proportion. If the left hand goes up, the right hand equally goes up with it. It's not hard. If you are going to school, if you are schooling in your desk compound, if you are being transferred to a different school that is far from your previous school, the distance increases. If you were trekking five minutes, you will trek in as much as longer than what you normally trek. That is direct proportion. It affects whatever happens affects the other based on the ratio one we talk about two times three. The ratio one as this one increases, this one equally increases. If it decreases, this side equally decreases. Like I said, my name is Mr. Michael, mathematics teacher. Next time we talk about indirect proportion or inverse proportion, then you will understand what we are talking about. We have done so today. If there's anything you feel is a problem or is confusing you, I want you to receive questions from you. I'll accept them, give you answers. We will tell you better. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.